small changes that can change everything. Many times I've been determined to create new ambitious habits, like at the start of a new year or maybe on my birthday. But in a couple of weeks, I run out of energy, time, or money, and soon I abandon that big unattained habit. It's in the small habits done consistently that make the biggest impact on my life. Some of the tiniest actions over time have changed my life entirely. These good habits may not seem like much, but I have seen how repeating them creates a compound effect which improves my life over time. If you want to change your world, you need to start cultivating good habits. As a child, I would play outside, explore the woods in my backyard, and simply just have fun. But the older I became, the less I would play. Until, in no time at all, it seemed like I had completely hidden my inner child. As an adult, I deprived myself of fun, using the excuse either that I was far too busy or that playing was silly. Fun seemed like a luxury only children could have. I'm not sure why I thought adults shouldn't be playful, but that was the narrative I have told myself. Having fun isn't just for kids. Being playful and carefree makes me feel young and alive. I think all of us have our inner child who wants to play outside, explore, and be silly. When I gave myself permission to be playful and silly, the happier and more alive I felt. My little kid came out to play and I never wanted to hide her away again. With non-stop entertainment at our fingertips, it's near impossible to become bored. Always reaching for a device for our entertainment and happiness is a habit and not a very good one. But consistent stimulation increases anxiety, shortens attention spans, and stifles creativity. Once a day, I unplug and do nothing. I allow myself to be bored. Silence is needed in order to think. Out of boredom is when I'm most creative. When answers to problems I've been thinking about just seem to appear, and my best ideas usually materialize out of thin air. This mental break gives me a chance to self-reflect and connect to my authentic self. Boredom is a gift. Breathwork has been around for thousands of years, used to help heal, reduce stress, and even control body temperature. I'm fascinated by how just the simplicity of breath can be so transformational in my body. It can be solutions to so many issues. Breath is free, always available, and can be done any place at any time. When I'm feeling sluggish or low energy, I inhale deeply, hold five counts, exhale slowly. 
After doing this for just a few breaths, I'm more energized and awake. When I'm anxious or overwhelmed, I connect to my breath by inhaling for a count of four. Exhale, a count of four. This slows down my heart rate, which helps me feel calm and relaxed, reducing my stress and anxiety. When I have a mental list of all the things I have to do, I keep mulling them over in my mind over and over again, reminding myself to do the simplest tasks like respond to an email, change the laundry, make a grocery list. Even though many of the things on my mental task list are small, it takes a lot of mental energy to keep track of what needs to be done and reminding myself to do it, which is exhausting. A simple way to get things off of my list is to just stop procrastinating and just do it. If a task takes less than five minutes to complete, I simply do it. Take out the trash. Answer the email, pay the bill, make the appointment. It takes me far less time and energy to do a small task than it does to keep adding to my mental list, which grows bigger day by day. This is a powerful habit to stop procrastination. Less than five minutes to do it, just do it. I'm not one to go to the gym or run a marathon, but I've been active my entire life. I get tremendous joy from being active, whether it's hiking, taking a morning stroll on the beach, or practicing yoga. I only get out of my health what I put in. If I want my body to take care of me in the years to come, then I need to take care of my body today. Especially with age, I notice the countless benefits from staying active. By moving my body every day, I feel strong, healthy, and agile. But most importantly, I'm pain-free. It's the little habits I cultivate today that will shape my mind, body, and emotions tomorrow. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Have a beautiful day, my friends.